It's a beautiful striper, guys. Oh no. Beautiful striper. Wow, right on cue, guys. Woo, they don't like that light. All right, guys, while we're on, you want to go with heavy tackle. You want to horse these guys in so they're not building so much lactic acid up. Circle hooks are the way to go. In my opinion, you don't want to go with anything less than a 20 out. You want to hook them in the quarter of the mouth. You don't want to gut hook them, anything smaller than that. These stripers have big mouths, these cows, and they will suck that down and they will get gut hooked and you will kill them for sure. Woo. All right, wow, this one's not ready to come in, guys. Might be bigger than I thought. You're gonna see this tool that I have. I took my measuring tape and I hooked it right to, look at that circle hook, right in the corner of the mouth where it's supposed to be right now. So we're gonna get our gloves on. Woo. They have lots of sandpaper mouths. We got our bugger grips right here with our measuring tape. We're just gonna do it the right this way this time and girth hitch it right onto here. You can see I glued a measuring tape so that she can stay in the water the whole time. We're gonna horse her over. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. What a beautiful fish, guys. Circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. Perfectly. Perfectly. Ah, oh, look at that. Alright, let's get our booger grips on her real quick. So that we don't lose her. Alright. I'm going to keep her in that water as much as possible. You can see that circle hook worked perfectly. Two, two out. It's a 20 out hook. Now I take this, I roll it right around, right around the booger grips, right over this little knob right here. And you'll see, you'll see that it will lock on because we want this to lock show. We don't want it to open back up. So I'm going to take that over. See how it locks the booger grips? Now look, the tape measure goes all the way down. I probably could have flipped it the other way. I'm going to keep her in the water. We're going to measure all the way down to her tail. Still in the water the whole time. We're going to hold our finger there. Guys, we're at 43 inches. 43 inches, guys. What a beauty. It's actually 44 because you can see that the boker grips are about an inch back. Let's check it one more time. All right, guys, this is going to be the final measurement. 43. Right at 43, guys. Woo! Look at these nice booger grips. Keeps her on the water. Keeps water flowing over her lungs. Look at that. Just a beautiful, beautiful catch. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to keep her in the water for a little bit. Let her, let her get some of those water over the lungs. It was a pretty short fight. It just lasted a few seconds. We're going to put the... Uh, click her on here open up this drag I'm gonna grab her okay that's what you want you want her to be alive and vibrant like that so that she should be ready to get cut loose oh, this, this fish has been hooked before she broke herself loose you can see right there in the corner of that mouth her jaws broken so she's been hooked before this cow all right we're gonna keep her in the water So we're going to loosen this up. We're going to get a quick shot with her. Alright girl. Alright guys. Quick shot. We're gonna grab her at the mouth, underneath the belly. Woo! Look at that big old fish, guys. Look at that big old fish. Oh man, what a gorgeous fish. 
How gorgeous is that, guys? All right. Woo. We're going to get her back in the water. We're going to get this hook out. Perfect. Right there in the corner of the mouth. put any more stress on her we need to you can see her fins flap and see her fins right there her protect pectoral fins are moving she's beautiful well, what you want to do oh cinder worms out here she's already biting down and she didn't fight super long but you don't just want to hold them in the water you want to kind of move them side to side like this with a current passing through their gills, not back and forth. That's not how they breathe. Fish don't swim backwards. They fish, they, they swim forward. And as you're moving them back and forth, what happens is those muscles contract and it helps squeeze some of that lactic acid out. What a beautiful fish. Whenever you're ready, girl, you're biting down pretty good. You're free to go whenever you're ready. Oh, you're ready to go. You don't even know. See you later. Wow.